Hi, the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian here on Monday, February 24th. A very mild weekend here in the Mid-Atlantic region, but that mild weather has come to an end. A strong cold frontal system passed through the Mid-Atlantic region in the overnight hours. Noticeably colder conditions today, quite breezy as well. Temperatures will not go much above where they are right now, perhaps reaching the upper 30s in many I-95 corridor locations this afternoon with a stiff north to northwest breeze. This cold weather pattern begins today. Looks like it'll last right through this week, right through next week, well into the month of March, and there will be several uh, snow threats coming along the way over the next several days right into next week, and we'll talk a little bit about that. But again, the spring break is over. Cold pattern has returned, and it'll gradually turn colder as we go through the next several days. Well, I thought I'd start off with last night's 0Z NAM model run, looking at the 300 uh, millibar height levels because this is where there's a jet streak of interest and I want to point out what's going on here the beginning of this time frame out along the California coast nothing much of interest but notice here by the latter part of this time frame which runs into about the middle part of this week Wednesday Thursday time frame a jet streak is just about to plow into California this kind of syndica uh, indicates a, quite a change here over the Pacific Ocean in that California, drought-stricken California, looks like they will get substantial rainfall over the next five or six days or so with not one but two different systems. This jet streak plowing into California in the Wednesday-Thursday time frame represents uh, the energy for the first system, and then there will be a second and even stronger system in the Friday-Saturday time frame, several inches of rain along the coast over the next several days and several feet of snow in the Sierra Nevadas. Why do I want to point this out? Well, both of these systems could ultimately come right across the coast, uh, right across the continental U.S. and play a role in the eastern U.S. The first system could reach the eastern U.S. along about Saturday, perhaps with the light snow. That second system really has to be monitored over the next several days because it looks like the second system which plows into California about the Friday, Saturday time frame, could end up producing a big snowstorm in the east along a, about a week from now, next Monday time frame. So what happens in California could indeed become important here in the eastern U.S. Well, here's the current surface map. And again, a cold frontal system passed through the mid-Atlantic region overnight. Now it's driving all the way down into the deep south, the southeastern part of the country. High pressure is taking over. We'll have plenty of sunshine today, but a stiff northwest to north wind, noticeably colder compared to the very mild conditions over the weekend. Again, temperatures will not go much above where they are right now. In the low to mid-30s in many areas may just go up to about the upper 30s with even lower wind chill values and temperatures down into the teens in most mid-Atlantic locations during the overnight hours as, once again, cold air has returned to the mid-Atlantic region. Here's the latest infrared satellite imagery loop from the SSEC Wisconsin website. Mainly clear skies south and east of the Appalachian Mountains along the I-95 corridor from D.C. to Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York City. Plenty of sunshine today, but it will be quite breezy and noticeably colder than the very mild conditions in the weekend. Up a state uh, up across northwestern Pennsylvania, western New York, up in the mountains, certainly can be some clouds and snow showers over the next 6 to 12 hours or so as colder air pours across the mainly ice-covered Great Lakes region. And notice this band of clouds out here over the middle part of the country. There will be a weak system cutting across the northern plains today and moving into the mid-Atlantic region on Tuesday. It could produce some snow shower activity, nothing significant but certainly can be some snow shower activity during the day on Tuesday. And then we'll have to watch this area of moisture in the southwest U.S. that could produce some snow late Tuesday night into early Wednesday here in the Mid-Atlantic region. Well, let's focus in on these next couple of threats. Again, there will be threats over the weekend for snow, uh, perhaps a minor one on Saturday and a more significant one around the uh, Sunday, Monday time frame of next week. But we have a couple threats coming the next couple of days. Tuesday, 
presents one threat, and then late Tuesday night, early Wednesday pr uh, presents a more impressive snow threat. Here's the forecast map from last night, 0 ZNA and model run 4, tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, then we'll look at six-hour increments going all the way to Wednesday afternoon. An area of, uh, of snow here over the Midwest during the uh, early morning hours will, uh, and this is, is uh, that area of cloudiness we saw right here over the northern plains, it continues to move rather rapidly to the east, and again, that could produce some snow shower activity in the mid-Atlantic region during the day on uh, Tuesday. Nothing sig significant, little or no accumulation is expected with it. It again is a fast mover, kind of limited moisture, but there can be some snow shower activity associated with this. Let's jump ahead six hours to early Tuesday afternoon. And here's the forecast map from the Zero Z NAM model run. Some of that moisture does survive its trek over the Appalachian Mountains and can produce some snow shower activity, especially in the D.C. to Philadelphia region. New York City is kind of on the northern border. They uh, very likely will see no snow on, uh, on Tuesday, but there can be some snow shower activity in the D.C., Philadelphia, Baltimore region during the day on Tuesday. Again, little or no accumulation expected. Now here's the forecast map for early tomorrow evening. Not much going on. That moisture pulls out of here. High pressure centered over the northern plains really dominates the weather scene uh, throughout the eastern two-thirds of the nation with continuation of cold air right into the midweek and right through the late week time frame. In fact, it looks like cold air pattern will stick around for the next couple of weeks well into the month of March. So not much moisture right here. Let's now jump ahead six hours. And here's the forecast map for late tomorrow night, late Tuesday night. No uh, moisture right now along the I-95 corridor, but notice all this moisture right here in the south-central part of the country. Uh, again, tomorrow's wave drops in really from the uh, north and west. The second wave late Tuesday night, Wednesday morning comes in from the southwest. little area of moisture here developing here. And again, plenty of cold air around. Let's now jump ahead six hours. And here's the forecast map for early Wednesday morning. Snow breaking out here in the I-95 corridor. Certainly cold enough for snow in this area. Weak low pressure does try to form along the uh, mid-Atlantic coastline here. But it, right now it does not look like it'll get all that organized. So we're looking at potential accumulations late Tuesday night, Wednesday morning in D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York City, but probably on the order of uh, just a small accumulation, maybe a couple of inches at most the way it looks right now. Again, it just does not seem to get too well organized in time to give anything, anything significant. Let's now jump ahead six hours. And here's the Zero ZNA model run forecast for Wednesday early afternoon. Low pressure does organize off the coast, and indeed there is some snow still falling here in the midday hours on Wednesday. But again, nothing too significant, perhaps a couple of inches with this second system. So we have a couple of systems over the next 48 hours or so. A weak system could throw some snow shower activity into the mid-Atlantic region on Tuesday, especially in D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia. And then a little bit more impressive system comes late Tuesday night, early Wednesday. That could throw some accumulating snow into the I-95 car from D.C. to New York City, but perhaps only on the order of a couple of inches at most, as it looks like it will not become a significant storm in the midweek time frame. More chances coming over the weekend and again into the early part of next week as that California moisture works its way across the country. Stay tuned to SIWeather.com all week as we are back into a winter-like cold weather pattern, not only this week, but next week as well. That's it for now. For the SIWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.